on untrue Hollywood story, the life of Kavya Vishwanathan, her writing career, and the long road it took to get there. Kavya was born in Madras, India, now known as Chennai. She lived there until the age of three when her parents decided to move to the British Isles. Kavya's family settled in Scotland. She traveled all over Western Europe, from Paris to London, immersing herself in these new cultures. When her father graduated medical school, her parents, both doctors, decided to move to the United States. Here, Kavya developed a love for the arts. She started playing the piano and the violin, and she also took up horseback riding. And although we're very aware of her recent two-book deal with Little Brown, with how Opal Mehta got kissed, got wild, and got a life hitting shelves soon, there's something about Kavya we don't know. There were other books before this one. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, WKRP. Kavya's first book, written at the age of seven, is titled Pinewood Stables. It is a delightful tale of two girls and their summer adventures training horses. Kavya's next book was also about horses. In the joy of a race, friends Ginny and Laura are preparing a horse for the Grand Nationals. But they have to deal with a troublesome jockey named McGuire. In the end, Ginny and Laura drop McGuire like a bad habit and allow their friend Dunwoody to ride the horse instead. And although the girls wind up winning the Grand Nationals with their horse flyer, in the end, Ginny wakes up to find out it was all just a dream. And now for a change, as Kavya's family have decided to move to New Jersey. And just like the change in setting, we'll see a change in Kavya's writing style as well. Kavya's third book was titled Ripples. It was both written and illustrated by Kavya, and is a collection of poems including A Recipe for September, Kingdom of Snow, and Song of the Sunset. Here's a passage from Song of the Sunset. Then, as the sun fades, this too goes, sinking beyond the horizon. In the sun god's chariot of glory, the last ray of the sunset is like the ending of a story. Next, Kavya tried her hand at something different, fantasy. Her story, The Adventures of Sir Scoop and Poop, is a riveting story of a man whose only wish is to become a knight. Even experts agree that it is masterfully written, really making you feel as if you were there. All you have to do is read the books to kind of, I think, sense the place, that sort of tone and atmosphere, which I thought she'd done, you know, and she continues to do so brilliantly. Done really well. It was a really funny idea. I mean, I said to Steve Clovis many a time, damn it, I wish I'd written that, you know? So, but obviously that's what you want, isn't it? You want to be working with people who, who come up with great stuff. It, it's, it's, it's great. And now for a poem entitled Ma, from Kavya's fifth book, Through a Window. My name is Kavya, it means story, and I'm 11 years old. I'm in sixth grade at Milburn Middle School, now let my story be told. I love to read and write and ride. I play piano and violin. I really like to draw and paint and play tennis and swim. I've traveled all over the globe, but in India I was born. My friends and family are really great, as is my goldfish egg corn. I love to eat Chinese food and bake brownies and cook. My dream is to be an author. It's come true. I wrote this book. My life is brilliant. My love is pure. I saw an angel of that I'm sure She smiled at me on the subway She was with another man But I won't lose no sleep on that Cause I've got a plan You're beautiful You're beautiful You're beautiful It's true I saw your in a crowded place And I don't know what to do Cause I'll never be with you We hope you
hope you've enjoyed the untrue Hollywood story of Kavya Vishwanathan. But with all these accomplishments under her belt, we can't wait to see what the future has in store. Yeah.